<laughs> okay, I'm a painter, okay? I'm not an artist. And when I started painting, whew, professionally, seeing all them colors, that really, really messed me up. I'm gonna explain how your mind really works. I don't have a degree or anything, but I think I see what's happening here. A little Picasso piece right here with a little messy bun. What is happening to God's chosen? What is happening to these people who are seeing movie scenes in their heads playing and they're fucking petrified and they're getting called schizophrenic, but their parents out here going to church every Sunday and they think they're okay mentally, but they're paranoid that the government is watching their every move. You know, they, they don't want the government looking at what they're looking at. They're not diagnosed schizophrenic, okay. What is happening is, this is why NF says things like, my life is a movie, but there ain't no telling what you're gonna see in my cinema. When our third eyes get real pressured, I mean, spiritual awakenings start to happen because of pressure, like COVID coming in and crippling everybody. When your third eye, if you are freaking out, or if you have ever freaked out because you thought you had a third eye right here, right? Blaring, stuck open. And you are sitting there freaking out because it feels like you have a third eye projector screen inside of your mind Yes, that is what is happening to you. Your third eye is opening and it, you are fucking scared. That is stuck wide open. And it feels like no matter how much you blink, you just can't, you just can't blink this shit away, right? North, south, east, west. Nobody wants us to just get down to the basics of, you know, four directions and they're teaching our kids calm and core because they don't want us to get good at dividing and subtracting inside of our minds, especially in sets of three, six, and nine. These numbers are the most important numbers in the world. Now, people who have control of their mind, they notice a lot of information, good information, when they are observing their thoughts. A lot of good stuff comes from the left. Everything just kind of flows from the left. But when this shit happens, you're stuck looking backwards. It's a mirror. You got to get good with mirrors. When you are seeing this shit in your head on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, a lot of people have noticed that it's really hard for them to look left in life. It's more natural for their necks to turn right and look right. It's really hard to look left. When this starts to happen and you are getting bombed from the right hand side and you're getting bombed from the left too, you have to really try to remain calm. This sucks. All of the good stuff that naturally starts coming from the left when you do get control of this situation, it is in a mirror playing in your mind on the right. And these movies have weaponized our reality. These movies are more dangerous than guns. These movies are creating mental disorders. And until these doctors acknowledge it, I'm going to kick and scream. Because a lot of good stuff in movies is weaponized to be scarier than hell. Angelic energies are trying to communicate when these demonic energies 
attack our minds. But just like the Lannisters in Game of Thrones, most truly shitty things are given honor and they're given money. Yeah. And most angelic things are given the shitty roles in these movies. And it sucks. I am so sorry to anybody who is struggling with their mental health right now because you have a third eye and it's scared and you're scared and you don't understand your over soul and you don't understand how pieces of your soul are actually just broken off and re replaced with bad energy. You have to try and remain calm. It's, it's, a, it's really hard for me to explain just like this. But this is what is happening in our minds. Our mind's eye is stuck seeing shit backwards. These movies are literally... I wish I could charge every production company and every fucking writer with attempted murder for what they've done to us. I'm praying for you. All of these mental diagnoses they're giving us seems like poor excuses for the seven deadly sins to do their damage and these evil entities to do their damage to us and keep us all spiritually afraid. And we got politics over here and religion keeping our parents asleep. While us young gods chosen are trapped, trapped looking crazy. You have to stay calm and research star seeds and galactic lineages. They are real. When you go looking on Ancestry.com because you're so curious where you came from, that's not even a hat. That's nothing. Me? I'm German, Czechoslovakian, Hungarian, Samoan, a little twist of Tongan, and a little twist of Jewish. That does not even begin to explain my true genetic makeup. Because until you take spirituality seriously and you understand that galactic energy, this cosmic energy, these cosmic disclosures, until you're able to understand that that is real reality and we are all stuck here, trapped in what the world would like for us to accept as reality. While reality's on fire and the world's on fire and it's never gonna get better until we get better, we heal. God's chosen, your life sucks the worst and I'm sorry. Our lives suck so much harder. The devil wants us. These evil entities want us to fall. Most truly prophetic people, truly passionate people, which is everybody, spends their life extremely depressed and anxious. Yeah, because we all want to know what the hell is going on. And when you wake up, it's like sometimes I, I really, you know, COVID and Cambria, I, I don't want to feel. Just fucking keep me comatose. You feel so much more terrible for every single person. When you wake up and you realize, oh my lanta, we are all sheep. If every single person is not acting like they are a sheep in a herd 
of scared people? Well, that's too bad. A lot of us have to wake up. Understand that we are sheep. But we also got a lot of lions and tigers and bears in us too. There's a lot of gods chosen out here. Guardians of the galaxy style placed here to stop this shit. And I'm doing my part.